I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by substitution. So, if I was given this equations, or this system of equations, 7x plus 2y equals a negative 19, and negative x plus 2y equals 21. Well, from there, what I want to do is I want to get a variable by itself. And I find that's easier in the second equation. So I'm going to subtract a 2y and try to get x by itself. Subtract 2y to both sides. Pretty simple. I have negative x now equals negative 2y plus 21. Divide by negative 1 to both sides, right, or multiply it to both sides. And I have x is equal to, well, negative distributes, right? So negative times a negative is a positive. So we have a positive 2y, and then 21 would be a negative 21 minus 21 right there. So now I have x equals 2y minus 21. Well, x is isolated, so now I'm going to put that into my first equation. So we have 7 times, and instead of x, I'm going to put this 2y minus 21. 2y minus 21 in. All right, so that's going in right there. Plus 2y <laughs> equals a negative 19. Well, now i got to simplify this bad boy, okay? 7 times 2y is a 14y, and it's not equal to, subtracting there. And then when we distribute the 7 again to the minus 21, oh, what is that, 147, negative 147, 7 times 21, yeah, negative 147 plus 2y equals negative 19. I'm going to add a 147 to both sides. And I'm going to combine the 14y to 2y to be a 16y equals negative 19 plus 147, I don't know why I'm using a calculator, that's stupid, all right, don't do that, Sean, as a positive 128 for the essence of time. For the next part, I'm going to divide both sides by 16, so let's go finish that right up here, okay? We have y equal to 128 divided by 16, and so y is equal to, and that 128 divided by 16, which I had there, is an 8, okay? Is an 8, so we have y is equal to an 8. Well, now we need to find what x is equal to. So I'm going to plug that y over 8 into one of my equations. I'm going to pick the second equation. So the negative x plus 2y equals 21. Let's plug that 8 in for the y. Negative x plus 2 times 8 is equal to 21. 2 times 8 is a 16. So we have negative x plus 16 equals 21. Subtract the 16 to both sides. And we have negative x equals 21 minus 16, which is a oh, positive 5. Positive 5, divide both sides by negative 1. And we have x equals a negative 5. So we have our x, our y value, coordinate point can be written together as negative 5, comma, 8. And there we have it. Our final answer being negative 5, comma, 8. So let's recap. We're given our two equations right there. Okay, and our second equation. Okay, I can get x by itself fairly quickly. Subtract the 2y to both sides, excuse me, and then divide it by negative 1, which gave me x to be 2y minus 21. From there, I substitute that into my first equation. So instead of x, I wrote 2y minus 21 right there, simplified. I distributed 7 across, giving me 14y minus 147 plus 2y equals negative 19. From there, I added a 147 to both sides, which I probably did in my head, but it's all good. I got 128 and combine 14y and 2y to be 16y. 128 divided by 16 was 8, and so y is equal to 8. I plug that value, or knowledge right there, y equals 8 into my second equation, uh, into my y there, and 2 times 8 was 16. Minus 16 on both sides, got a 5, positive 5. Negative x equals positive 5, divided by negative 1 to both sides, gives me x by itself, which is a negative 5. So I have x equals a negative 5 right there. So now my coordinate point right here, it's just uh, combining both of them together. Our final answer using substitution, negative 5, comma, 8. 